Hello guys, welcome once again to my channel. And in the last video, we looked at viewing an admin profile, which we did here. And then we saw how the user profile and the admin profile, basically. So in this video, we are going to be working on logging out a user and possibly logging out an admin if time permits us to. Okay, so um, let's head back in here and we are going to go into our header for our users. So for our user in our header here, uh, we had a button here, which we created called logout that had an event. And click events here called logout which you just log over to the console logout so if i come back over here and uh, let's get over to our users and if i click on logout you can see it's logging to the console logged user out all right so uh, right inside of here we want to dispatch a logout event but before we dispatch our logout event we would first of all have to go into our auth service and in our auth service we are then going to create a new um function here and this function is going to be called log logout user and our logout user function is going to be responsible for sending a http request to our logout endpoint to invalidate our token okay so uh, what i would like to do right now is i'm not going to get into a lot of writing or typing here i need to copy this right now and paste this in here so we create a new instance of our http service and then next up is this is supposed to be forward slash are we in admin oh boy sorry we're in admin so not to worry so user forward slash logout so let's just copy this we are in admin and uh, we are supposed to be in the users first so let's go back to our user or service and uh logout so forward slash user forward slash logout so uh we're going to change this to logout url and change this also to logout url and so once we are sure that our service is set uh, the next thing we would like to do is we would then go over to our actions and then I'm going to go into our auth actions and within our auth actions we are going to have a new function here responsible for logging out our user and so I'm going to say export const user logout action and our user logout action is going to dispatch all right first of all we would need to restart the value of our auth response so whatever was the value of our auth response we would need to set our auth response value to nothing basically to just an empty string or to the initial value it was all right so we're going to restart our auth response right now and after we have restarted our auth response i am going to import uh this is auth actions for admin oh my god what am i doing Ugh, let me get this out uh, let me save this to this auth actions for admin so let me just basically close save yes now let's go back to our actions um, and then our auth. okay this is actually our views so let's go to our actions and then our auth, user auth actions so our user our auth and our auth actions so right here we are going to have this here all right so we are going to restart whatever was the value of our auth response and then right here we are going to import our logout user which is basically our logout user service here which we just created and um, we are then going to call that service which returns a promise so logout user takes no parameter returns a promise dot then and then we just call whatever is the response uh what i'm going to do is let me just save myself some time so i'm going to copy this right now let's copy this up and say here i even forgot to return our dispatch here so let me just get rid of this first and now we can easily modify this so now we have our return dispatch dispatches restart out response we're going to get rid of loading all right and then here we'll call our log out user it takes no credentials basically and um, if response the has some property of success and response of success is set as true then we want to dispatch here logout success and uh, our logout success takes our response and then not just that it takes our response we also need to get rid of this set timeout here because we're not going to perform the logout action here all right so we are also going to get rid of this too so if our response has a property of success and response is true we dispatch a logout success else if our response has property of success and it is false we dispatch logout error logout error as well as with the response otherwise we just dispatch our code error all right so we have set up our user logout action i'm going to save this right now and i'm going to go into our auth reducer for our users so i'm going to go into our user auth reducer and within our user out producer we are going to going to copy this login success and login error and uh, we are going to have logout 
success and here we are also going to have logout error and um, for what our user auth response value is going to be not the string but our action response so our action response uh, whenever the logout success action is called we want the value of our user auth response to be this value which is basically the response coming in from our api and logout error we want to set this to okay so now that we have successfully been able to do this file reducer i think the only two new actions we dispatched here were logout success and logout error so i'm going to save this right now and uh, i'm going to go back into our header for users and our header for users within our logout action here i'm going to dispatch uh, i'm going to dispatch our user i'm going to dispatch our user logout action all right but we don't have our dispatch we don't have our use dispatch imported here from react redux so i'm going to import use uh, use dispatch from react redux and then i'm also going to create an instance of this or assign this function to this value so use dispatch and uh, now we are free to use that so whenever we dispatch user logout action it should do that for us and then what i can now do here is i'm going to use use effect so basically our use effect is going to help us check out on something so let's call use effect oh my god use effect and our use effect is going to let me just uh, get this off get this off here our use effect is going to check up on our auth response all right whenever there's a change in our auth response then we want the value of our use effect. we want our use effect to trigger so what we can do here is we are also going to import our use selector here and uh, for our use selector we are going to get our auth response and our auth response is going to come from our state and uh, we are going to be getting our user auth response user auth response or user user auth response uh, let's go over to our root reducer just to be sure okay we call this user auth so we're going to access our user auth and um, and the value is going to be our user auth response so let's get our user auth response right here all right so we have the value of our auth response in here so whenever that uh, logout is clicked we want to dispatch this user logout and user logout manipulates the value of our auth response and uh, we want to check to see whenever there's a change in the value of our auth response um, we want to actually do something and what we basically want to do is we're going to say if the value of our auth response all right is not an empty string so whenever that new event is triggered if the value of our auth response is not an empty string and the value of our auth response is success okay so that success is true then we want to just call a basic javascript alert and our JavaScript alert is going to take our auth response dot message, and after taking our auth response dot message, it's going to look how storage dot remove item. So we're going to remove our user token. So first we'll invalidate the token from our API, send our response, and then we'll remove the token from the browser, and then we would need to redirect the user. So to redirect the user here, you can see we have the value of our props here, and the value of our props is coming from our, our user private route. Our user private route, you can see here, our user private route is passing the value of his props down to our header as the header's props, and our header takes in the props. So to be able to access that uh, that value here, because the remove item, we'd have to call props dot props dot props uh it's props dot props dot props let's see so our user private route has its own props passing it to this guy so it's props dot props actually not props dot props dot props so we're going to go this then the history dot push so basically we get the history object and we redirect you back to user slash login so i'm going to save this right now and uh if everything works just as expected uh we should log out this user successfully so we have use effect is not defined, user logout is not defined. So we just head back into our header here and uh, let's define our use effect here. So use effect. And for our user logout action, let's define our user logout action here. So import user logout action. And this is going to come from store actions admin. It's not admin, sorry. User auth auth actions yep so now i save that head over to our browser and we have credentials it's not defined within our auth service and this is line 45 26 so let's go back to our auth service for our users 
sorry our auto service for our users online 24 oh sorry this is supposed to be a get request so let's change this to get data let's change this to get data and so let's get rid of these credentials right here and we also forgot to set our token id our token key so our token key is going to be user token and then we are going to pass that as a second parameter here our token id now i can save this and uh, let's head over to our browser and uh, refresh that all right so we get no error message any longer and so right now for our user profile let's click on the logout button and you see we have successfully logged out all right but we have a little problem here uh, in that this here is showing the value of successfully logged out so in order for us to fix that let's head back over to our text editor and within our login view for our users we are going to call a use our use effect here and uh, we want this use effect to render when once our component is loaded and right within our use effect, we are going to dispatch an event here that I'm going to call clear or state. Okay, and the essence of this clear or state is it's going to clear whatever is the value of our state uh, once this component is loaded. So right up here, uh, of course, we've not created that, but I'm just going to add that here, clear or state. And uh, we can now come right in our auth actions. And then we are going to create that function here. So export const clear state and uh, our clear out state function is going to return a dispatch and this is going to dispatch uh, an event here is going to dispatch an action here an action is going to be our restart of oh, sorry our restart of response and uh, basically what we're just trying to do here is we are creating an action here called clear of state and all our clear of state is doing is simply restarting the value of our auto response and if i go into our user auto reducer here you can see our user auto response restart auto response transforms the value of our user auto response into an empty string and uh, also within our login view here we have then imported the clear auto state which is coming from our auto actions and then we have dispatched that event so i'm going to save this right now and i'm going to head back to our browser and right here, I'm going to log this user in again. And now I'm going to log this user out. And you can see that that uh, welcome message at the top here is no longer present. So that's just about that for this video. In the next video, we're going to be using looking at admin logout.